Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about AAA authentication suppressed null username CLI on a Cisco IOS. To begin with, let me show you a quick topology of the setup that we have in this lab. So it would just be one Windows machine here connected to your aggregator or in this case we'll call it as a server. This server here will be connected to your uh, TACAC server. In, uh, in my lab we've taken uh, ACS 4.2 and uh, it could be any uh, setup that supports uh, uh, TACAX uh, acting as a authentication server. So uh, the basic connectivity between uh, the Windows client and the aggregator and reachability towards a TACAX server is done in this case. You can refer this document on cisco.com where it would tell you how to set up an LTTP tunnel between the Windows machine and a Cisco router. So uh, this, this uh, document will explain you the configuration that's supposed to be done on the Cisco router. This is the one and uh, a very detailed step of what all things you need to do on a Windows machine in order to set up that tunnel towards the router. So once that done, our next challenge is to create uh, one authentication request from the client towards the router with a null username. Only then this command will come into picture. So. Uh, We'll, we'll quickly jump on to the, uh, the client and in this case what we'll need to do is I'll, let me clear this up. So we've already done the basic configuration here based on that Cisco document. Uh, we'll go here and the, uh, we'll just double click on this. You can either click connect on that and instead of giving up a username here, we'll just quickly say it's all empty and we'll do click on connect. So the moment it starts to connect, you'll, I've already enabled a couple of debugs here. So if uh, I just enable it, so it just says uh, picked method list default and it starts to time out on uh, 39133. Yeah, and uh, now you'll say here, it's trying to access the TACAC server to get the username. It's trying to access the TACAC server with a null username. Uh, how do you get to know it's null username? Uh, we can quickly check it from here, mm, right here, this is uh, authentication start request ID 53, you have nothing in there. So this one, this bracket is empty, otherwise had it been a valid username, you would have seen the uh, username here. Let me quickly show you that. So if I'll jump onto Metacax server, uh, the uh, radius, uh, sorry, the Windows client again, uh, I'll go here, I'll do a quick connect again, and I'll do a Cisco. Cisco username password, I'll do a connect and it goes here and it gets binded to a virtual access 3 and right here. So you see Cisco as a username, a valid username here. But in case when it was an empty username, a null username we call it as, so this was empty. So what happens is in some scenarios, the uh, production uh, uh, networks or the ISPs actually want to suppress this null username. They don't want this, this traffic to reach the TACAC server just as an extra load or burden to be handled by the server. So what, what command that we put in is uh, AAA authentication suppress null username. This is the command that it should be used to in order to suppress the any, any authentication request that come into this uh, NAS, this server, with a null username, it should get suppressed. So let's see if, if this is working here or not. So uh, I've just cleared the scroll for you. I'll just quickly go back again to my server and it says connected because I gave a valid one. So let me disconnect this. Uh, let me go here and do a quick connect again and I'll make it as empty, empty username. Right, so I do a connect and I'll start seeing the username and it's see it's empty and it's sending to the TACAC server. Now this is not what we expected, right? We wanted the AAA authentication suppress null username command to be activated and it should not send access request to the TACAC server. So if I quickly jump onto the TACAC server, this is my TACAC server here. Uh, see authentication requests queries are coming here. So if I'll try and see if I can maximize this a bit more. Uh, no, so okay, let me maximize it from here. Yeah, all right, so you'll see that the requests do reach here. 
and you will see the username is zero so that means it's empty had it been a valid one so you'll see a username here like cisco or, or whatever it could be so this is not working as expected correct so the reason behind this is we've got a known bug that's just opened on this uh, on this issue where it says that AAA authentication suppressed null username is not working as expected and we've tested this in our Cisco labs and it's not working across any platform or any known iOS as of as of now so uh, this this bug is opened there and according to this bug this would be fixed in 16.4.1 s Polaris image now this image is going to be out on CCO in in November this year so uh, we expect that uh, this uh, when when you have this particular uh, image on your uh, iOS or on your router it would stop sending authentication requests with the null username towards the CAC server and it will drop it on the on the on the, on the NAS in that case so uh, there is one condition on on this bug that says that this will work as expected with radius so if i quickly jump on here and i'll show you the configuration again so it says it's it's working as tech, with, with the CAC. So in, instead of the CAC, if we use radius, this command will work just as fine. It, it would start dropping uh, the uh, authentication request on the router with null username. So quickly, I want to show you how it would behave with the uh, with the fixed release that's going to come out in uh, November 2016. That is uh, 16.4.1 Polaris image. So let me quickly that load that image for you and I'll show you how it uh, works. So we have now loaded our server with one of the test images that we have from the dev. Uh, I just want to quickly show you that how that image 1641 uh, that CCO for November 17 this uh, November 16 this year will behave when uh, it is encountered with a null username. So the configuration, everything remains the same and uh, I can still reach the same TACAC server. And if I quickly make a call from the Windows client now with uh, a valid username, first of all. So let, let me see if it's asking for a valid, yeah. So right here, I give a, a valid username and a password just to see if it works, just to be sure we are typing in correct right here and i've enabled debug the cax again yeah and it says pass to it, it just passed and you'll see a username as cisco here so it's all working as expected so again just to look at the config we still have suppressed null username so i'll again go to my client uh, do a disconnect here and i will make a call again Let me go back here. And let me remove this. And this time I again make a call with null username. But this time if you will see, it says username is empty and it just stops sending the requests over to the server. Yeah. And uh, this, this one is not for this because this is of coming from another device that, that's connected to this server that's having a valid username. But uh, this one just stopped and I'll make that call again. See, it, it would continuously pop you saying because the uh, client is continuously redialing on this server and it's a null username. So it's, it's username is null empty and it would stop, uh, you know, right there. It would not send the access request to the server. If we can quickly check it on the server as well. Uh, this is my server here. If I go and see for the captured packets, I must not see uh, a null username here. So it's all Cisco. It, it's it's not uh, even receiving it because the box is dropping it right there. You see? So this one, let's see this one. What's this? So again, it's Cisco. And any of these it, it would all be cisco because the drop the uh, the ios is not dropping the uh, calls with a null username so just just to reiterate this is the symptom uh, will be working as expected in the next ios release uh, that's what we call it as polaris so 16.4.1 look it for it 
to be out on CCO just for your download uh, in, in November this year and uh, just you can download it and start working uh, and, and you can see that how this triple authentication suppressed null using in command is working. Uh, hope this will help us uh, in uh, deploying this command and, and see what's working is expected what not. As of now the, the valid workaround is use this command with the radius server and not with the CACs. Thank you for watching. Bye.